Hey guys, this is Craig, and what I've got for you today is a quick guide on how to get the Cooler Than Cool and Scrit Hot achievements, both of which give mastery points. These achievements can be tricky to get, so buckle up. I know you don't want to hear me ramble, so I'll get straight to the point. To get these achievements, you need to dodge Primordus and Jormang's support attacks 25 times each. You have two chances during the battle to do this. I'll give you a quick rundown of the fight so you know exactly when each window begins and you can maximize your opportunity. This is by no means a complete guide, but I do plan on making one in the very near future. So you spin with your squad from the Eye of the North, kill two Leyline Siphons, and capture the control points that appear afterward. Rylan comes in and you beat him down to 25%. Bram makes his appearance, you do the same thing. There are no dragon attacks to dodge during this part of the fight, so just finish it as quickly as possible. Now three Leyline Siphons appear in the north part of the map. Kill those, and Rylan and Bram will have a spat in the middle of the map. Break their defiance bar to split them up. Now you have your first opportunity. Both champions will now be on the opposite ends of the map, near their respective dragon. The goal is to kill them within 20 seconds of each other, but you don't care about that. In fact, I recommend you completely ignore this part of the fight. Not only do you move slower when you're in combat, but you won't be able to get on your mount to move around quickly. Just focus on dodging the dragon's attacks. I'll cover exactly how to do that in detail in just a second. If the group fails to down both champions within 20 seconds of each other, the defeated champ resurrects with 50% health. That's actually better for you because it gives you more time to get more dodges in. After both champs are down, run to the circles, fly up, and punch both dragons in the face. Six Leyline Siphons appear this time on the north and south sides of the map. Obliterate those, Rylan and Bram have another disagreement, you break it up, and now you have your second opportunity. Jormong's attack is much easier, so I'll cover it first. You'll see a large rectangular AoE on the ground. While you're waiting for it to appear, I recommend you stay far enough away from the monsters, they don't tag you, but also far enough from Jormong that you have a little time to see the attack coming towards you. Getting on your raptor helps, it'll give you more mobility and a bigger hit point buffer. The hardest part of this achievement is avoiding all the AoE ice attacks. They'll either chill you to a crawl or knock you down. Neither of those is going to help you. I highly recommend equipping the best stun breaks, condition cleanses, and swiftness that your class has available. As soon as the AoE appears, get inside it, face your mong, and hop off your mount. A blue cascade of ice will start coming towards you. Just before it reaches you, double dodge directly into it. Hammer your dodge key as fast as you can until your endurance is gone. If you're lucky, you might even get two or three evades per dodge. That's it. Repeat until you are cooler than cool. Unfortunately, Primordus' attacks are much more difficult. Not only do you have less time to react, but the area he attacks is a lot smaller. Unlike Jormong, he has two different attacks, both of which will give you achievement credit if you dodge them successfully. The first is a chin slam. He lifts his head up, slams his chin in the ground. You'll see an arcing AoE that spawns by his head and it will fill in red. The moment the red hits the edge, his chin slams down. This attack is instantly lethal, so timing is important. You need to stand just inside the AoE and dodge into the attack about a half second before the red meets the edge. Immediately afterward, lava will bubble up from the ground and if you time it correctly, you could turn around and dodge back through the lava for additional credit. You can get several evades per dodge if you're lucky. The lava isn't lethal, but it will apply burning and a decent amount of damage, so have a cleanse and a heal ready. For his other attack, he will throw out four large meteors. Unfortunately, these hit in random spots. Yes, random spots. Before he does this attack, you'll see his head move off screen and he'll pick up a meteor in his mouth. I recommend standing fairly close to him while you're waiting to see which attack he's going to do. Once you see him grab the meteor, immediately turn away from him and look outward to try to find the AoE circle for the meteor. This is tricky because so many other AoEs spawn during this phase, you don't have a lot of time, so quickly determining which AoE is the correct one is crucial. 
There will be several multi-circle pulsing AOEs. Avoid these. After a couple of pulses, a meteor will crash down from the sky and send out a large shockwave. Dodging these meteors does not give you achievement credit. Shockwaves will knock you down, so avoid those or jump over them if they're too close. Bram does an AOE attack that knocks you down for several seconds as well. Now, this circle's bigger than the one for the meteors, so it's easy to spot. The smaller plane circles are the ones you want. Being on your raptor can help for this part, but the jump and dismount delay can be just long enough that you miss the dodge. You have to be fast. Something else to make things even more fun, the meteors close to Primordus hit sooner than the ones farther away. Looking up the meteor will help you time when to dodge. Unfortunately, I found that I didn't have time to do that. So I learned to just estimate when to dodge based on how far I was from Primordus. The best advice I can give you is to watch a couple of attacks from the sides, learn the timing before trying it. Like the Gen Slam, you can get several evades per dodge if you're lucky. To maximize your chance of this, I recommend dodging through the center of the AoE from the edge as opposed to dodging from the center or just skimming the edge. You won't always have that option, so take those opportunities when your position is favorable. Don't mess up a viable dodge attempt trying to set that up. Uh, like here, for example, I was unable to get an optimal dodge because the large AoE was covering most of the circle, but I still got one evade by just skimming the edge. Sometimes, despite your best efforts, you are going to miss. Shake it off, cleanse the burn, heal up, and try it again. If you die, take the single waypoint and come back as quickly as possible. Repeat this, and before long, you will be scrit hot. And that's all there is to it. Enjoy your shiny new mastery points. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider giving it a like, and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Have a good one.